Now, the destruction of wetlands has had a significant impact on the environment and exacerbates the drought situation as currently witnessed across the country. In Narok South, a rehabilitated wetland has changed the domestic and economic fortunes of the surrounding community. And as Mary Mwoki reports, the reclamation of Nkongu Nkare Spring has transformed the drought-stricken region into a horticultural zone, a vital resource for both people and the environment. Wetlands are areas of land that are saturated with water, either permanently or seasonally. They play a crucial role in preserving biodiversity, reducing the effects of floods and serving as habitats for numerous species of plants and animals. This is the Nkongu Nkare Springs in Narosra in Narok South. The freshwater springs flow to this water pan that has a capacity to hold over 5,000 cubic meters. For years, however, this water pan had been besieged by high levels of siltration, greatly reducing its holding capacity. As a result, over 700 people from the surrounding community who greatly rely on the water source for domestic use and for their livestock were hard hit. However, in 2020, the World Wild Fund for Nature Kenya stepped in and began the desilting of the Nkongu Nkare water spring. So recognizing the importance of this spring or wetland, we came in to protect the, the area around the spring and also desilt the water pan that had been constructed here to ensure that the communities can access clean water and the water is also available for ecosystem services downstream. Rehabilitation of the Nkongu and Kare Springs has injected new life to the community here, so much that the locals who are traditionally pastoralists are slowly turning to farming as a way of life. The water pan currently serves seven schemes, including the Oloibor Oingoni irrigation scheme, where we meet Eric Setek, who together with a few others came together and started irrigation farming. When we catch up with them, they are busy harvesting tomatoes from their one acre farm. They started farming in December and this is their third tomato harvest. The rehabilitated water pan supplies over 15,000 residents with water for domestic use and their animals and has seen over 5,000 acres placed under irrigation for farming, which is gradually making this dry land food secure one farm at a time. Tulianza kupata pesa. Faida. So tulipata tuliweza kulipia watoto shule. Yakula simepatikana kwa hizi maboma. Sababu sasa tunapovuna ni wamama ndio wanakuja kufuna. So tunawalipa. Wakisha funa wanatulipisha sanduku moja shilingi 400. So kila boma hapa ina inafaidika kupitia hii mradi. The wetland is such an important part of the ecosystem around here. Residents here have enough water for domestic use and their animals and have saved many a women the long treks in search of their precious liquid. Inashikilia maisha ya watu, livelihoods. Hapa sehemu ya Ngongo Nkare na hii maeneo yote ya Narosora inashikilia pakubwa sana. In estimates, hile biashara yote ya nyanya, Kitungu, horticulture mm. ambayo inafanyika hapa, inategemea hii wetland. Watu wanafanya large-scale irrigation. Mm. Without this wetland, this place would have been a desert. Which are traditionally pastoralists. 
country. While marking this year's World Wetlands Day here at the Nkongu and Kare Wetland Area, Environment, Climate Change and Forestry Cabinet Secretary Soipantuya led the community in planting over 7,000 trees around the spring, adding that the wetland will soon be gazetted as a protected area. Mary Mwoki, Citizen TV.